What's up guys, Calvin here. Today I'm going to show you how to bind the Hummingbird V3. It's actually very very simple and then a lot of people just confuse about the Hummingbird SPI based receiver with the UART based B brain. So SPI based receiver, uh, the ELRS code is basically built into Betafry uh, firmware. So everything is controlled by Betafry. You can either go to Betafry configurator and then go to the receiver tab and then there is a bind button. You can trigger the fret controller to the, uh, the binding mode. And then there is another way, it's very, very simple. So let's do it in here, switch the camera view to the top view. As you see here, the drone, uh, what you need is just power on. Because the drone is already bound to my radio right now and you can see the green light on top, it shows up green light. That's mean it's already bound. But I can make it into a binding mode by pushing the bind button uh, in this location. There is a bind button in here, just use a tweezer. Push it down one time, one click. And then you will see telemetry loss in here because it's getting into the binding mode and you will see the the light is flashing red and green. That's in the binding mode right now. At this point, get into the ELRS menu. And in here, I'm going to just use 150 hertz on the package rate. Because I'm just like do indoor cruising. I don't need that um, super fast speed. And uh, go down to do bind. RF signal critical. Recovered. And that's it. That's how you bind your Hummingbird V3 to your Express LRS radio. And make sure your remote control is under ELRS 3.0 or above because the receiver firmware, uh, the receiver on the, the, the beta fry firmware is actually only support ELRS 3.0 or above right now. Um, if your remote control ELRS TX module are under 3.0, it's not gonna work. So that's it. All right, leave us a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.